let's walk through the Dominique. So the defining characteristics of this custom plan are that you have an owner, a site owner, the business, one person that's going to handle all the money and all the legal. And they are going to be selling the content of other instructors, other coaches, other educators. And you want to make sure that how you're setting it up is going to not just serve the business owner, but also serve the coaches, meaning that the Programs can be sold individually. They could be sold as part of a recurring payment. They could be sold as part of a Costco model, which is having an annual fee for membership access and membership pricing. So the first thing that we're gonna start with is how to build out what your buyer is going to see. And you can follow all of the steps that are provided in the documents for the Dominique. But here is your building page. And we're going to have a menu up there. Might have a hero image here that says it's the store or it's the sales page, however you would like to word it. And then I recommend using the features block. And the reason for this is you may have, um, you'll have a heading in the features block and you'll have a subheading. You'll also have the ability to show three. You can add more. You could have, you can add blocks, feature blocks to this so that it gets skinnier. I think three looks very nice. If you have four instructors or four coaches, then I would do two and two. But you can add text below each one and you can have a call to action. So when you are a customer and you are on a site that has multiple different people, multiple choices for what you're offering, this is a very clean way to show that, to showcase it. And when you are building it and you can see on the sample pages that I've built out for you, you can also, you know, you can add in you know, how it works, what kind of options are there? Are the standalone purchase? Yes, you can buy one course. You, you can layer over that the Costco model, which is paying an annual fee and getting member prices and member access. So that works really well. The recurring payment where they're paying a monthly fee like you would for a gym or any of the online business tools you might be using. So it works very, very well. And this is the sales slash store. And this has a unique URL because it is a building page. So when you are building your website, we'll put your website over here like this. So this is your site and your site also has the menu bar. And what you can do is you have, you know, we'll just call it the store, but it links to the URL. And in order to do that, you will create a navigation link list. So you can uh, follow the instructions on how to build the navigation link list, but you can put the store URL as part of your main menu header and link to the URL, which then will pull up this page. When you have the call to action, there's two different places that will have a call to action. One is this space, that if people were to click on this, you could have it go to the instructor bio page. And I recommend having one of these for each of your instructors, your educators, your coaches. We'll come back around to that in a moment. This call to action would then take people to the offer checkout for that offer. So that way 
here, I see it, I can purchase it, I can go to the offer checkout. Now, while you can <laughs> sell this stuff in any way, shape, or form, I encourage you, get very, very clear on how you want 90% of your sales to go down and offer that. I made that mistake many, many years ago when I was like, oh, I could sell it like this and like this and like this and like this. And what happens is people get confused and then they wander away because they're trying to think through their options. Just make it simple. Just say, hey, here's the, here is the purchase. Here's what makes my life simple from an administrative standpoint. It's what gives you the best user experience. Uh, and do not be afraid to own that. People want you to give them a direction. Here is the button. Here is what you get. So this, Think through the different options as you're looking at the Dominique, and then choose the one that makes the most sense. You can always layer in other options once the option that you have is consistently producing the income that you want. Now, the instructor bio page, I recommend having this, again, for each instructor. And the reason for that, let's erase this, so we can keep it all together, is when you have multiple educators, coaches, instructors, you want to have a page that can showcase them. So again, you can have your menu at the top. You can have a hero image here with either a consistent image or perhaps an image of each instructor. You'll have to work on the sizing part portions. But here, then you can have the uh, classes that they offer. So one of the cool things now is you can do offers. You can showcase the offers. So the call to action here, this can actually be an offer. It's a, it's a block that's now available in Premiere and you can easily see, oh, this instructor is offering these classes. Then you can have a, you can have a video and you can uh, see the sample page that I built out for you. You can also download and then upload the code for the page so you can just customize it. You don't even have to build out the page, but have a video that is all about the instructor or the coach. If they have one made, great. If you need to jump on a Zoom call and interview each other back and forth like a conversation, perfect. If they can film one for you, great. Anything that's going to connect your customers with your educators, your instructors, your coaches. Then, again, these people are looking around, so I would definitely have a call to action. Send them where you want them. Is there a lead, dedicated lead magnet you want them to have? Do you, do you want them to watch, read, or do something? But this page, build a template for yourself. So having, we'll go here, having a template allows you to click the clone button and then have unique pages. And each of those pages, again, can link up right in your feature section. And that way you have provided sales page information with each of the instructors, what classes they're teaching. You could divide it by instructor. You could divide it by content, multitude of different ways, and not an exclusionary one. You might have one section that's by instructor, and then you might have one section that's by content. Different customers are going to react differently, so that's a really good, easy way to portray the information. And then have a dedicated instructor page with their information, all the buy buttons, definitely the lead magnet, list building feature, so that if they aren't buying, send them where you want them. Absolutely, send them where you want them. And then from your site, you'll just use the nav menu with the URL to this page. That wraps up the Dominique 
If you have any questions, please feel free, uh, add them on the page and I will be glad to answer them with you. This is a great business model and when you think it through and you follow the instructions that I've given you, it will be really easy to implement into your business. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.